Okay. All right. Welcome to ICBM. This is my first Let's Play, and I figured, well, if we're gonna start something, start it right. We're uh, gonna take a look at this here, uh, this indie game. It's free which was really nice. I thought I'd find it on Steam or someplace like that, but no, I just had to do a bit of Googling, and um, sure enough, easy to find from uh, developer Republic Games. Republic spelled with a V. Um, and let's just jump right in. Excited. The Cold War has begun. Alright, so let's start with uh, the only available episode. Episode 1, The Premier Love Surprises, which uh, points to you if you know what movie that quote is from. And uh, it being my first time playing, uh, let's go ahead and go with uh, DEFCON 1, the uh, <laughs> highest difficulty setting. I don't intend to uh, do well at this, but let's just see what happens. There's an interesting sign on that second door back there. I should screen capture that. So we've got our mission instructions, and we are First Lieutenant Evans. Welcome to the Strategic Air Command's 20th Air Force and to the 68th Strategic Missile Squadron of the 44th Missile Wing, stationed here at Ellsworth Air Force Base, just north of sunny Rapid City, South Dakota. I have no idea if that's a real Air Force Base. Your squadron is proudly responsible for 50 underground silos, known as missile launch facilities, and the LGM 30G Minuteman 3 ICBM, armed with W-78 thermonuclear warheads. They contain. MLFs are organized into groups of 10 called flights, and each flight is operated by a subterranean launch control center where two alert and ready nuclear and missile operations officers, known as missileers such as yourself, are on duty 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. As our newest deputy missile combat crew commander, your mission is now nothing less than the guaranteed and absolute safety of Colombia and her allies from their enemies, whoever or wherever Colombia is. You've been assigned to the Romeo Flight Missile Combat Crew in LCC Romeo 1, in charge of MLFS Romeo 2 through Romeo 11. Your LCC reports directly to LCC November 1, the alternate command post for the 44th. <laughs> All right. Congratulations on this prestigious assignment, and good luck, DMCC. C. First, Lieutenant Evans, the fate of the free world, quite literally, rests in your hands. And what beautiful, pixelated hands they are. Sincerely, Colonel McGill A. Draws, the third director of operations, Ellsworth Air Force Base, South Dakota. So we've got a situation report. Past four decades have changed our world dramatically. Oh, I'm getting a whole primer on world affairs. It's great. 
today with the United States of America and the Union of Soviet Enough thermonuclear firepower to destroy the Earth dozens of times over. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Unchecked military spending, inefficient planned manufacturing, and collectivized agriculture have been heavy burdens for the Soviet economy to bear. The USSR's last source of revenue is petroleum. And that is a fact. The enemy crises are over, and the world floats in a glut of cheap Saudi oil. Thank you, Saudi Arabia. I'm currently in Bahrain, which is northeast of Saudi Arabia. But uh, that's neither here nor there. A bloated, corrupt government, misguided command economics, and uh, crashing oil prices have brought the Soviet economy to its knees. And the Kremlin is desperate, and when a cornered animal has nothing to lose, that it that is when it is most dangerous. Murder in the air, mistaken for spy plane, USSR downs Korean airliner. I think that happened. Yeah, that actually happened. I don't think this game is pulling any punches. Mission briefing. Three days ago, on November 2nd, at the Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe in Castel, Belgium, the Able Archer 83 war game began. War game began. The Able Archer is an annual command post exercise held by the North Atlantic Treaty Organization designed to test NATO's command control and communications wartime procedures. It is merely a simulation. But the Reds don't believe that. Intelligence suggests the Soviets are convinced America is planning to launch a live nuclear attack under the cover of the Able Archer games and have placed their entire nuclear force on high alert. Naturally, now we must do the same. This is no exercise. Remain ever vigilant, DMCCC Evans. The order to engage in nuclear war could come at literally any minute. I added the literally <laughs> for the literal emphasis. Godspeed, Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Bigham, uh, Squadron Commander Ellsberg. Blah, blah, blah. How to play ICBM. Each uh, episode is a simulation of one eight-hour shift during a 24-hour tour of duty, 60 feet underground in an active launch control center. In reality, due to the hazardous conditions surrounding the remote facilities, alerts can last for days as you wait for your replacements to arrive and relieve you. In ICBM, you'll be performing the exact same duties as a real-life missileer, as close as modern technology will allow. And Manning is one of the United States Air Force's Jupiter nuclear launch consoles. While you are on alert, you report directly to the President of the United States of America. ICBM is greatly enhanced by the use of a mouse with at least two buttons. Check. ICBM has been designed to be the ultimate in realism. One second in real life represents 2.5 minutes of in-game time, which by my estimate should mean that we're nearly done with our workday after having read all of these instructions. At any time during play, Press the space bar to pause the game and summon a command summary quick reference card. You now know everything you need to begin. Stand by for further orders. Good luck. Major Michael D. Davis, the second base information management chief. All right, and that's that. Oh, man, it's only 8 o'clock. I thought for sure the timer was ticking while we were reading all that stuff. Well, nothing to do but... Our job, defending uh, America, democracy. Hmm. So, it's my understanding we have this cursor here, which we can manipulate using a mouse. And uh, left click gets you an inspection prompt. Right-click is manipulate. Uh, so the MALS monitor is uh, screwed in, and you can't take it out. Why would you take it out? That's that's not an RMOS. All right, it is DEF CON 1, and I can't remove the panel. That's fine. I meant to inspect it. Yellow light eliminates when North Defense Minister at level 3, Roundhouse uh, Air Force. So DEF CON 1. Oh, this is DEFCON 2. What's DEFCON 1? Ah, DEFCON 1. This bright white light eliminates when NORAD's defense readiness condition is at level 1, codenamed Cocked Pistol. It is the maximum state of battle readiness for when nuclear war is imminent. Holy cow, imminent. Okay. 
Gotta stay on the ball. Let's have a sip of coffee. It's already pretty stale when you brought it down. Now it's ice cold. And completely unpalatable. I'll be the judge of that. Now someone dropped a broker favor. So, can't drink coffee. Luckily, our shift must be halfway over by now. Okay. Clocking out at 16. Then it's someone else's job to defend the planet. Let's see. I don't think I can touch any of these buttons without direct authorization. Targeting computer and screen. Smolensk, North Military Aerodrome, in the Smolensk Oblast of the Soviet Union. 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 <laughs> For the first time. I swear, I'm trying to take this seriously. It is DEFCON 1, after all. But we've only got an hour left of our shift. I really doubt that the world's going to end in an hour. And I think we just might have made it. All right. Going home. Episode 2, A Nice Game of Chess. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, so I'm the reason that we went with DEFCON 1. Well, let's remain at DEFCON 1. That was easy. Uh, another day, another cold cup of coffee. Let's see, we're only here for eight hours. Oh, my favorite mug is still broken. And the coffee is still cold, so I can't interact with it. What's this? Diagnostic mode selection dial. Dial selects the suite of diagnostic systems that toggle switches will engage. This label describes one of the various diagnostic modes that may be selected. And this label describes another. And well, what if I want to analyze a different diagnostic? I've not received orders from my MCCC to select a different diagnostics mode. I get the feeling that my MCCC is never going to give me any orders. He seems like a pretty chill guy. To do. Guidelines map regularly schedule tasks and instructions for various common procedures have been printed on a large sheet for of stiff card, which has been laminated and glued to the desk surface. Well, when they glue things to surfaces in games, they don't want you to manipulate them, so let's try. Uh, it's been glued with uh, aeronautical grade epoxy. <laughs> so, that's a red light. This red light illuminates when the MLKS cage is locked. And I'm guessing this is the MLKS cage. This tempered glass cage prevents access to the missile launch key switch until a DOD order code and verified rescue result code has been successfully interrupted, interpreted, excuse me, and the set's resultant action requires the cage to open. Beeping. Alright. Still at DEFCON 1, but that's my own fault. Uh, what's this? A DoD order code has been successfully verified. The seven-segment LED set display shows its verified result code, result interpretation, and result in action computer that analyzes DOC VRC sets. Okay. No. Uh, the code set selector. This dial selects the cryptographic code set to use for DoD order code verification.
Yep, that's a clock. Yep, that's a calendar. Floppy drive. This drive formats and writes 8-inch floppies that hold BIOS information for the missile's electrically erasable, programmable, read-only memory microchips. Oh, we're done already? All right. Never fear, America. Exit 3, our economy depends on this. Well, let's... Let's go to DEFCON 1 again. Urinated. Okay. Another day. Another dollar. Da, da, da. So, Captain Webb is unseen off screen, and he doesn't seem to say much. Probably for the best. Crypto code set 4. Two code to verify level A. So, crypto code said four. Okay. That checks out. And I can't change it anyway. We'll just leave it the way it is. We're off at 1600? Okay. Right, ready, insert floppy disk to continue. Oh. I haven't received an order to. Okay. But I thought this was an order. 
button switch turns the targeting computer on and off. Well, let's turn off that targeting computer. Oh, I wanted to turn it off. See, this toggles the targeting computer display mode between satellite photography and digital maps. And I have not received orders to change that. This turns the identification for the voice system on and off. Well, let's make sure that's on. Oh, I didn't want to disengage it. I just wanted to ensure that it is engaged, but I guess the little red light indicates that it is, in fact, engaged. Targeting computer is probably targeting. This is the Kubinka Air Base in the Moscow Oblast of the Soviet Union, home to the 9th Fighter Aviation Division and the 378th Independent Composite Aviation Squadron and their dozens of Mikoyan and Sukhoi aircraft. Oh, it's 12 o'clock! It's 12 o'clock! Wait a minute. It only flashes 12 when it's broken. It's blinking 12. I have no idea what the actual hour is. This is... This is terrible. I don't know I... <laughs> How much longer is my shift? I can't fix this? Great. Burnout circuit board. Won't be here until tomorrow. Well, hopefully, I can still launch nuclear missiles without knowing what time it is. Good plus to start. Plus! Shift plus. No, I can't select that. Ooh. Increases the currently selected value. these readings are satisfactory. Yeah, those look satisfactory, all right. Hey, the day is done. And another dollar for First Lieutenant Evans. Episode 5, Trail of the Mad Man. Just to change it up, should we try the beginner mode? <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any difference, but if something's going to happen, I definitely want... I feel like the only chance of anything to happen is at DEFCON 1. Yeah, let's go with our gut. The clock is ticking this time. Ooh, what's on the map today? The region surrounding Moscow. All right, that's our target for today. 11-11-1983. Our thrust vector today is 94.99.1 kp. We have 31,880 kilograms of fuel. Operating temperature is 1727 degrees Celsius, and our flight time is 20 minutes, just under. Boop. And no, I can't do diddly. Oh, who took my coffee cup? Outrageous.
bloody world is at stake. Everything appears normal. So, crypto code set 1, code verify level A, crypto code set is at 1. Oh no, I don't want to quit. Actual job that a piece that that a person has today. Just waiting to get the order to fire a nuclear weapon. And waiting. <sighs> Alright. Twenty four hundred hours. Uh, we're almost done. Educational, this is. Wait, what? Oh, satellite. That's another day. Complete work week. Eat white meat in a dark brown sauce. It's morning again in America. Today, more men and women will go to work than ever before in our country's history. With interest rates at about half the record highs of 1980, nearly 2,000 families today will buy new homes, more than at any time in the past four years. This afternoon, 6,500 young men and women will be married. And with inflation at less than half of what it was just four years ago, they can look forward with confidence to the future. It's morning again in America. And under the leadership of President Reagan, our country is prouder and stronger and better. Why would we ever want to return to where we were less than four short years ago? information from one part of the world to another. So New York can be around the corner from Paris, London from Tokyo, and San Francisco next to Rome. WAN, making the world more productive by bringing it closer together. They made a great terminal. And now a KEZI Eyewitness News Brief. Good evening. Iran has a new proposition, but it's doubtful anyone will think it's better than the old one. More hostage pictures today by satellite from Iran. And the Weyerhaeuser company says although the economy is down, its corporate health is good. Now this. Hi, I'm Vidal Sassoon. Watch your new day Monday through Friday right here on this station. It's your new day with Vidal. In sports, the Beavers advance in the Far West Classic, and there are bowl games galore to talk about. Tracy Ray will be here to do the talking, and I'll be here with the news 27 minutes from now. KEZI-TV, Eugene. Snap. Um, okay. Add our name 
it to the uh, annals of history. I, think, I haven't decided who. Well, let's just call ourselves Ronnie. The good old Ronald Reagan. Thanks for keeping us safe. <laughs> what a great game. Jolly good. I'm glad we did the max difficulty. I don't think I could have uh, hacked it. <laughs> All right. Well, please join me next time for our next uh, Let's Play. And uh, until then, this is this has been this has been great. <laughs> Get the heck out of here.